The Syrian National Coalition has begun its latest meeting in Cairo. Members are expected to discuss a number of political options to end the two-year conflict. It comes as Russia and the Arab League say they want to help to set up direct talks between the Syrian government and the opposition. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says he wants to avoid a military solution which would be destructive to everyone. Russia has been a staunch ally of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. The aftermath of a missile strike on the headquarters of the main rebel force in Syria. The leader of the Liwa al-Islam Brigade was wounded in the attack. It's a blow for the group, which is behind a three-week offensive that has given the rebels a foothold inside Damascus. Away from the fighting, there is more talk of dialogue. До недавнего времени были те, кто during talks in Moscow with the head of the Arab League, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said the situation is changing and the opposition is no longer being warned off talks. It's important that the government matches this newfound willingness for dialogue, he told reporters. Meanwhile, a commander of the Free Syrian Army has warned that his troops will target Lebanon's Hezbollah unless the powerful militant group stops shelling rebel-held territory. In Syria, an activist group says at least 160 people were killed across the country on Wednesday. Amateur images of one of those attacks posted on YouTube appears to show the aftermath of government shelling in Aleppo. Other images show a Syrian fighter jet catching fire in a Damascus suburb and then crashing to the ground. An Al-Qaeda link group is claiming responsibility for shooting down Syrian warplanes and helicopters.